I look like I've been um, hit by a gale force wind because I have, so excuse that, but I had to get out and take some shots for you guys, you know, so you could see the car. Also, okay, how professional I? Got myself a new GoPro, which I'm using for the first time now, and a mod light or something, I don't know what it's called, but anyways, but it's got a light on it, like that's shining on me, so I don't know what I look like, but I'm hella excited about it. Well, until I see it and maybe it's dreadful, but anyways. I thought I'd use it for one of my favorite cars, which is the Kia Sonnet, okay? I mean, I didn't buy the new GoPro for the Sonnet, but I just thought, let me start using it now on a car that I love. So it is a budget sort of compact SUV that rivals the likes of the Ford EcoSport and the obviously Toyota Even Cruiser slash Suzuki Vitara Breza. Nissan Magnite that's just launched. So, which I haven't yet driven, okay? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on that guy, but for the for me, the Sonnet at this point is probably the best out of all of them. And I'm not just saying that because of Terrence of Kia, in case anyone thinks that. Because I'd like to have some criticism just to kind of piss him off a bit, but I don't have any. So look, there are two model grades, the LX and EX or EX and LX whichever one basically both have all the spec you can think of apple carplay android auto big screen the info here electric windows aircon and 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 the difference this one i've got the top of the range so it has like the roof rails and stuff and different wheels and stuff but that kind of thing doesn't bother me so styling is if it's important to you then maybe however Okay, there's only one engine available, which is a 1.5 litre naturally aspirated petrol engine, 85 kilowatts of power, 144 newton meters of torque, mated to either a six speed manual, which is what I'm driving, or a CVT, which I have to say is probably one of the nicest CVTs I've experienced in a long time. I drove it at the launch, I'm not driving now, obvs. but it kind of just like gets on with it and it's efficient and it's quiet, it doesn't hum and scream at you, um, which can't be said about most CVTs. Um, this manual is absolutely glorious. I don't even really notice it, which is what I want when I'm driving. Um, the engine is punchy enough, fuel consumption is fine, mine's not amazing, but I don't drive very well. Um, in terms of heavy footedness, otherwise I'm a bloody good driver. Yeah, I'm gonna get blown off the road here. So, <laughs> A lack of stormy Cape Town it is today. So, what I love about this car, so I had old Terrence in the back here, jetting away the whole launch, okay. But he's a tall guy. I would say big guy, but he'll get mad at me for saying that. But he's a tall guy. And in the back here, he was fine. And he wasn't just saying that because he said a lot of stuff off the record. So he would have told me if he was uncomfortable, believe me. But Ryan, who is my driver's uh, driving partner and stuff as well, he's also sort of six foot um, plus, whatever. And all of us were in here very comfortable with our luggage in the 392 litre boot. So I think this is like a lovely sort of family car, like one kid family car. Um, there's still going to be space issues because that's what children do. Honestly, I would have space issues in it. I always want the bigger version of every car for more space. But that's besides the point. You can actually make it work. It's a very spacious car for what you're paying for, okay? Which is, I will tell you right now when I remember what it is. She came over, I lost my nerve. I took her back and made her dessert. So, just under 265,000 Rand okay for the entry level and then it goes up to just under 305,000 rand for the top of the range but now if you want to wait for a turbo you can there's a one litre turbo engine coming that will then obviously push up the price it's also going to have another trim level a big old fancy gt i think i can't remember anyways so that's going to then compete against like the t-cross and the venue and everything um, in terms of price for sure um, this is actually the underpinnings are based on the, the venue so these are all little things that I thought you'd like to know you know from an experienced motoring journalist I love this car I'm so happy to drive like look I you know I love the Seltos I 
love the Sportage. So for me, this is just a mini version of all of those, um, which there was no way I was going to dislike it unless they'd really tweaked or done something crap to it or whatever. But having driven it for a few days and stuff, I'm still, uh, do people just not know what a stop street is? Stop and then go. really find anything to fault about this car at this point things can always come up but at this point of the review well just yeah you know what I'm saying the way